Uh, let's get this. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this out of the way because I'm not too sure here. Um, I watched this. She-Hulk episode one. Lots of uh, lots of Bruce Banner in this. If anyone, for all our fan out there, I am uh, a huge Hulk fan. Throughout the years, Eric Bana, Edward Norton included. Uh, Mark Ruffalo as well. So I, I don't know. I don't know why, but I, because of all that, I had high hopes for this. Um, I would give it like a right, right down the middle score. And uh, it's just, it's just uh, some of the things that they put in were just so obvious it hurt. But uh, we start out, it's like present day. And the fact that Jen became the Hulk is in the past. So we have to, she's already breaking the fourth wall like I'm doing here. But she has to go back and explain that. So she's driving with Bruce. We've seen the trailers. Gets in a car accident. His blood gets in there. Um, gets in her wound. She becomes She-Hulk. Uh, I think she runs out in the woods. Blacks out. Wakes up. Goes to a bar. Almost gets beat up by... Three guys, Bruce, I think, pretty much stops her, takes her to Mexico. Um, that's where he lives now. Great, great location, Bruce. If you want to give me a vacation, I'd love to be there. But um, goes to Mexico. He explains to her what happened. Uh, trains her a little bit. I, I don't know the time frame, but um, I like seeing the training montage. And it's good to see Mark Ruffalo as... Smart Hulk, uh, she's there for a little bit. There was a problem, though, because she has, you know, whereas Bruce had been dealing with being the Hulk for a very long time, she is, she's like, I'm trying to be a successful attorney, I need to get back. So she ends up going back. <laughs> There's a fight with Bruce. I'll go over my pain points in a second, but they kind of tie in the fight. She goes back, and then it's present day and then they uh she's trying to give a speech in court some other super villain shows up and she immediately turns into the whole destroys her and then turns back so i have hinted at things that bother me in this um one of which so i don't i don't want to get too biased here but why like she has a she has a is like a recurring theme. She has a male coworker who's a jerk to her. And it's a, it's pretty over the top. At a certain point, if he's coming into her office and acting that way, like report him to somebody, please. Um becoming the Hulk. So she blacks out a couple times and I understand again, I'm a Hulk fan, not a big comic book reader. So if anyone knows otherwise, prove uh, not prove me, but correct me. But um, she's already in like smart Hulk phase, uh, and then when Bruce kind of forces her into becoming the Hulk, uh, he's kind of shocked by that. Also, her blood fixes his arm. Like he had this Hulk inhibitor thing on, and uh, he was trying to not become the Hulk, but then. I don't know how he used, I think he, he either analyzed <laughs> her blood or it got mixed up as well, but uh, he used it to heal his arm. She can already be smart, smart Hulk. At the beginning, she was, uh, she would with a high emotional, whatever, turn it to the Hulk. Um, she would turn back when she fell asleep. She wasn't really sure how that worked at first. And then, now with the training, and I can understand if they bicker a lot, but uh, as as cousins, so as cousins, I can kind of see it. Bruce, though, being and he mentions he he'd been a Hulk for what fifteen years, like I would assume that you would have like he he beats her in the rock throwing contest, other stuff, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if she's just like strong-willed or Bruce needs to be more assertive. I'm just now realizing this is I love Mexico, <laughs> but, but like, uh, he, 
multiple times tried to say, okay, well, be, being a Hulk, you're like, your life is different now. Like, obviously you had this car accident. Now you're this huge freak. Maybe it's different for her because she's under control and she gets extensions whenever, <laughs> and her hair straightens whenever that happens. But, um, I mean, two things like, like, I, hope she doesn't like i just get the sense of overconfidence way early on and i get this other feeling like i don't know the bruce banner in this was not as bad as i thought it would be but like she just does not grasp the reality that she is this huge freak now and if she went if she wants to get back to her lawyer life which happens later on she just like comes out as the hulk in person i guess she wants to save people's lives but um i don't know um the other thing is so later on i don't know how much time has passed between when she became the hulk how long she was training with bruce but then she can just like flip it on and off and bruce i'm assuming is stuck as the hulk right um and then he talks about it i'm smart hulk is the name given to me then she's like it's very uh, what did she say? Like big headed of you. And he said, well, I didn't make it up. <laughs> and I'm just like, like, I don't know this, this Hulk real Hulk Bruce is not catching a break. And, uh, I don't know. It's like infinity war. Kind of, he like, uh, when was the last time he was a Hulk Ragnarok infinity war? He wasn't even the Hulk. And then he, I guess ran away to Mexico, became Smart Hulk. Um, but I'm just annoyed with how they're they're they've treated him. There is, like I said, they're fighting about her leaving. She turns into the Hulk. They fight. And I feel like Bruce should. You remember when like Vader and Reba fought, where Vader gave her a chance, and then it's just like, well, well, I, obviously, I don't want. Jen to die, but um, I don't know. Bruce should have manhandled her because he's been an Avenger for the last. Where are we? When when did when did that happen? Two thousand eight was Iron Man, but then he'd already been the Hulk, and then it was Edward Norton, and what was that? A couple years later, or one year later, but then it, was it Eric Bana? Was it all in the same timeline? If, even though it's on the MCU. <laughs> What? Let's just pretend it's when the movie came out. Uh, so that was what? Ang Lee. Oh, 2003. Almost 20 years. Who knows when? What? Endgame and the snap happened. That was like five. Anyway, like the Hulk. I, I understand she is a Hulk as well. But a, I, I don't think. And a smart Hulk version is as rageful to be as powerful as the regular Hulk. That being said, she and Bruce should be on even playing field as far as the smart Hulk aspect. But Bruce has the advantage of being a Hulk for a long time. And smart smart Hulk for a long time. Like he, he fought. He has been fighting. So, I don't know. Um, you can get where I'm going with this, but... It was like, I I like, what did I like about this? And I want them to do more of her struggling with the fact that she basically, I don't know. I, it's a, my problem is that I don't know the comics because when she turns into the Hulk, she looks great. Um, when Bruce turned into the original Hulk, he's just like this huge freak. Like, I don't know. Who knows how things would have been different if Bruce could like talk the way he can now. Everyone's talking about getting a Thor bod. I want that Hulk bod. Mm, nothing but powerlifting. Lots of overhead press. <laughs> Weighted chin-ups. All right. I got weird for a second. But um, I don't know. I If anyone out there peruses the YouTubes, everyone knows the classic arguments. And I have a hint that this is leaning towards those arguments. I'm not going to say it, not yet, but just don't make it so heavy-handed. The other thing is uh, 
I don't know how successful She-Hulk was in the comics, but the thing that makes... I've said this before when I talked about He-Man. Um, there's like this huge switch with also more He-Mans coming, I guess, but Hela and Tala. The problem is when you create these characters, doesn't matter male or female, with basically... Uh, you know when you play a game, like, have you ever... I, I was... Uh, guilty of this. I played games, struggle through them, beat them. I've also played games sometimes that I'd just be like, whatever, I'm just going to turn the cheats on, mow through everything. You ever get done with that? You know how unaccomplished you feel? Because it was just so easy to get. That That is not good. What is good is the hero's journey. Why? Because everyone experiences trials and in, in Tribulations. Did I say that right? Uh, and tri yes, TR. <laughs> but if you are making characters that don't go through a hero's journey, it's very hard to relate to. And I want there to be some struggle here because you need that arc. Every, every, most stories, right? Most good stories. Uh, I don't even know. Like, what are, what are, Name 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 a story that's good. I it, I know it's formulaic because it happens a lot, but it is that way because it works because it resonates with people. Uh, you and me, real life people. So I don't know. So far, it's not looking promising in that aspect. There needs to be more conflict and struggle here because even in the training montage, it was like, "Can you do this? Yeah, I can do this. Can you do this? Yeah, I can do this." <laughs> and I'm just like. Okay, what what else is there? Like all she has to do, and they didn't even she like skipped the meditation part, which I thought would be interesting. Um, because I remember they added that in at the end of the uh, Edward Norton Hulk. I was like, yes, like meditate to become the Hulk now. But she like, well, I don't know if they in some of the trailers they're going to do more of it. But she's like, I don't want to do this, and I think they did some more. And Bruce is like, well, this is. Not just, he didn't say this exactly, but he said, it's not woo-woo, it's backed by science. She was like, eh, I don't want to do it. He's like, well, maybe not ready for it. And I mean, well, maybe she will come back and do it, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just like, like, don't, you remember Rocky? Remember, remember how much he, and don't get on me about like, well, it's just male characters. Like, that doesn't matter. Like, uh. Uh, I don't know. Mulan, like Mulan, uh, the original animated, you know, had to pretend that she was a male. She was weaker. She had to prove herself. She overcame, ended up getting found out, but then succeeded anyway. Overcome, overcome. That's the theme here. You have to overcome. And if you just put the cheat code, like episode one, like, <laughs> like she already had it and i'm just like okay where do you go from here like I remember in uh i'm ranting now but uh force awakens where ray beats kylo and i was like what that's it I'm like okay well she better turn evil because that was too easy and what like what if luke beat vader like vader sliced through obi-wan luke force grab force which is what happened in uh, Force Awakens, Force Grab, Obi Wan's lightsaber, and fought Vader, and sliced his helmet. What if that happened in Episode Four? You'd have nothing to look forward to, and I hope we do not get that with this. So I am torn right down the middle. I, I'm holding out for hope because I like the Hulk. I like Professor Hulk, and I just don't want this to go down the same path of other things. Dork Dad Sam doesn't agree, but I, I, I think Hawkeye has done a better job so far with how they treat the uh, original characters. Like who's left? Like you had Black Widow with her sister. You had Captain Falcon. Now you have the Hulk. Like I, I don't see Bruce going away anytime soon. There's no reason for him to. Um, Thor, Jane Foster, but Thor's still around. I don't know if I haven't seen Love and Thunder yet. Who else is there? Uh, Iron Man. 
Iron Heart is coming. Like, they're just they're just running on empty. And the thing is, I don't know how successful these comics were. So if you are trying to get success out of a product that wasn't great originally, you're going to have a hard time. That's all I can think of. Only one episode in. I'm going to try to keep track of these because I like abusing myself. So that's all. That's all I got. Let me know what you think. In the comments below, subscribe. Bye-bye.